Todd Morgan. Thomas Hunt Morgan proved the idea of chromosomal inheritance using Drosophila fruit flies. His Tescott experimentations concluded that the theory of chromosome was true. Around 1902, cytologists such as Walter Sutton, Theodore Bavari, and other scientists had all independently promoted the idea that sex determined chromosome-based inheritance. It appears that the fruit fly was first bred in quantity by C.W. Woodworth, who later suggested to W.E. Castle that fruit flies might be used for genetical work. Castle used it for work on the effects of inbreeding, and through him, F.E. Lutz became interested in it and introduced it to Morgan, who was looking for less expensive material that could be bred in the very limited space at his command. One day in 1910, after a year of breeding the flies, and looking for diverse individuals, Morgan discovered a single mutant white-eyed male. Curious as to why the male's eyes turned out white, he performed a test cross between the white-eyed male fly and the purebred red-eyed females to see whether white eyes might also occur in the next generation. The resulting F1 generation all had red eyes, but Morgan suspected that the white-eyed trait was still present yet unexpressed in this hybrid generation, like a recessive trait would be. In his second experiment, he crossed a red-eyed male with a heterozygous red-eyed female to test for a recessive pattern of inheritance. The offspring exhibited a 3 to 1 ratio of red eyes to white eyes, which indicated that white eyes were recessive. All of the white-eyed flies were male. In his third experiment, Morgan wanted to determine whether white eyes were lethal in female flies, so he bred heterozygous red-eyed females with white-eyed males. This third cross revealed that white eyes were in fact not lethal in females because it produced a 1 to 1 to 1 to 1 ratio of red-eyed females to white-eyed females to red-eyed males to white-eyed males. For his last experiment, Morgan wanted to determine whether the white-eyed trait followed the inheritance of the X chromosome from maternal gametes to male offspring. Morgan crossed the heterozygous white-eyed female with a red-eyed male. This reciprocal F1 cross was the most crucial part of the series of experiments because Morgan could make some very concrete predictions if the trait was indeed sex-linked. Specifically because the white-eyed trait appeared to be recessive, Morgan could predict that a white-eyed female would probably be homozygous recessive. Therefore, because all males inherit their only X chromosome from their mother, the use of a white-eyed mother would mean that an X-linked white-eyed trait would be the only trait male flies could inherit from a homozygous mother. Thus, Morgan could predict that all male offspring resulting from a cross between white-eyed female and a red-eyed male would be white-eyed. Likewise, because female offspring inherit the only X chromosome that exists in the paternal gametes, all female offspring of this particular cross would carry the red-eyed trait, and this trait would mask the recessive white-eyed trait they inherited via the maternal gametes. Because this cross yielded all white-eyed males and all red-eyed females, Morgan could indeed conclude that the white-eyed trait followed a sex leak pattern of inheritance. Morgan's last experiment proved that the white-eyed trait in fruit flies was not just recessive, but a sex-linked recessive trait. His evidence proved the idea of chromosomal inheritance and paved the way for even more scientific discoveries.